Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are in the Sims Mobile as you would have realized from the title of this video. Um and uh, I had a Sims Mobile maybe a couple years ago and I deleted it um for a lot of reasons. And of recent I decided that I was going to download it and uh, try to play it again um mainly i wanted to see if it had any new changes upgrades you know all that stuff um but this is the first time in a very very long time that i'm trying to build in the sims mobile and i just feel like the game remains the same um the only thing that i saw was new was the camera mode um you can't put the wall up to take a screenshot but that is it like everything else in whereas the building tools and all these different things are concerned is the same um so i do have a lot to say um i do want to hear what you guys have to say as well um because i know there are a lot of players who play the sims mobile and i know it's mainly because you guys prefer the graphics and i don't give you wrong because this is technically sims 4's graphics so yeah so we could probably start with the positives so if you have some time 10 15 minutes um to chill with me grab some popcorn sit back relax and yeah let's let's talk sims so i'm gonna start off with showing you guys what i was able to create um with these plants in this game so it's definitely a replica of sims 4 in the sense of the plants are able to go and overlap with each other as you guys can see so because of this it makes everything just look way more realistic um it just looks as though the plants are overgrown and i was really trying to go for like the pond effect so Basically, this is a blue mat that I found in the decorations um, folder. And I found that it looked kind of like water. So I decided to try to create a pool outside and then cover it with the plants. So it actually looks as though it's a, it's a pond. Um, so that was pretty cool. But this is where... I can't um, agree with Sims Mobile. So why do I have to use a mat in order to create a pool? Like why isn't there a pool tool? Just like the Sims Free Play, right? When we first start the game, we have like a bunch of different quests to do to unlock certain modes. Even when it comes to building, um, we didn't automatically receive the pool quests. Um, or the pool tool when we first started the game but i mean there was an option you know there was a quest and that quest led you to unlocking pools and so this game has been out for a couple of years now and there's still no pool tool and a lot of the basic building materials um that you would need so for example we have no option to create a patio like none there's no fences, no proper fences, no no section for fences in the game. We do not have garages. We don't have vehicles, not to my knowledge. Um, we don't have... What else do we have in this game? Balconies, um, patios, as I mentioned earlier. Fences, you know, just, just things that make the house realistic. We don't have those things. And to me, that's pretty frustrating. That is really, really frustrating to me. Um, so whereas I love the game for the graphics. If you guys look, this is definitely Sims, Sims 4 gra graphics. Um, that is one thing I give them. This is definitely Sims 4. But I, I think that there's so many things that is... Um, wrong with this game that I feel like they had a lot of time to improve on and I just I can't get behind it 
so let's make our way inside the house now let me show you guys what i found so if you guys can see right now i am in live mode and as you can see everything looks as though it's floating and that is pretty unrealistic to me because how am i supposed to build properly if i can't see where the wall is like to me that makes no sense and if you guys have seen my bills on the Sims Freeplay, I love to decorate. I love to add those fine details. And uh, look at this. How am I supposed to see that this is the living room section? Like, I can't even see that there's a door there. There's just a line. I can't see anything. This is the living room section. And again, the only wall you can see is this one literally that's that's the only wall you can see everything else is down and again that to me is just so unrealistic so whereas i love the fact that the graphics in this game is so on point i love it but it's frustrating this is really really frustrating and i love to build in sims it's one of my favorite things to do and you can't even build with the walls up so when i first saw that they had the update for the walls up i was really excited because i was like okay maybe you can actually build with the walls up but now i realized that that's not even close to what it was you could just take a screenshot with the walls up you can't actually build like that and i just i don't understand because again so look at this bedroom two walls and then this wall over here it's just it's, it's nothing it's it's non-existent and then the more you move is the more you don't even see the walls the walls literally disappear as you move so again i i don't appreciate that because i can't see properly to build i'm trying to create a bathroom and over here where the toilet area is again i can't see the walls so i actually don't know what that looks like unless i go into picture mode and i'm just like that is that is really frustrating super super frustrating another thing that i noted um with the sims mobile is the fact that they don't actually have needs so for example if she let me get her to see if she can make something cook something all right so i'm gonna get her to cook something and here she has a meal in her hand right so she's gonna i'm gonna get her to to eat that i didn't actually get around to placing down a table and chair so she will stand up and eat it actually i had a table and chair um placed down before and she still did this so let me know if that's a glitch in the game because for some reason no matter where i place the table and chair they just will not sit down by the table and chairs to eat so i don't really understand that either so you guys can let me know if that's like a glitch or if that's something you guys are accustomed to seeing um because i don't know but so she's eating right so you think okay cool she needs to eat to survive but in reality if you guys look down um we have no needs menu we literally have no needs so she doesn't need to eat she doesn't need to sleep to talk to anyone to watch tv she like she literally just needs to exist and that to me again is just so unrealistic because in the sims replay we have needs and i think that that is a very realistic gameplay um mode because it just makes everything very very realistic i just this this just seems like very robotic i i would say to me because you don't have any needs i i just that's that's not fun <laughs> That's not fun to me. Um, another thing too that I noted was the events that they have. So like these things. I don't know if you guys enjoy this. But I I really don't. Um, it's frustrating. It's super, super frustrating. And uh, it's confusing. Half the time I don't even know what I'm doing. Or why I'm doing it. I just think that a lot of things just makes no sense at all and everything is very very expensive um, in this game that's another thing 
Um, so yeah, I, I don't understand what's happening right now. And to me, it's, it's just really unnecessary. Because even when it comes to the prizes as well, um, if you go over here, usually when we play Sims Replay and we have things like Sims Replay, um, Sims Chasery, Influence Island, and all those other different events, usually when we get stuff, furniture, clothing, whatever, they usually match. You know, like you get a, a, a whole furniture set, a kitchen set, a living room set, um, clothing, everything matches. This to me is just like everything just just thrown all over, you know. Like this is not a proper set to me. The grand prize. Let me see what the grand prize is. So this is the grand prize, right? And again, I'm just like, okay. These things, for example, this chair. This chair is cute, right? But why don't we have a set? to go like maybe a smaller version of the chair you know like nothing matches in this game I, I just feel like the prizes doesn't really make sense half the time um even i saw something recently that i that piqued my attention um that is in uh, this section over here right and I thought that this was actually going to be free, at least for the first time to buy it. So that if you have to buy it again, um, you know, maybe that time you have to pay for it. But I realized that in order to even go there, like you literally have to pay like real money, not similar loans, actual money to um, be able to live here. And my thing is, OK, so I'm going to pay 10 U.S for a lot and then when i go on that said lot i still have the restrictions of no pool no fences no gallery no patio no wall up option when i'm building so i just i just feel like if that to me makes no sense you know like the sims free play they have a lot of things that i could complain about but I think it, it keeps me satisfied to a certain extent because of the fact that they do have a realistic gameplay to the game. So even though the graphics is like stuck in the 90s, <laughs> literally, um, we still have needs. You know, we have needs. We have a lot of building options. There's a lot of things that you can do um, when building. You can get really, really creative in the Sims 3 Play game. Um... Also, I think there is uh, so much more you can do in the Simply Play, um, even like activity-wise. You know, of course, none of these mobile games are anything compared to what Sims 4 is like. But if I had to choose one, it would definitely be the Sims Free Play. Because I would admit, I mean, the Sims Free Play does get me... Um, frustrated at times but not nearly as frustrated as this game like this game is really getting on my nerves um when it comes to building especially the building and the fact that it doesn't have needs and these these sugar rush showdowns or sweet treat showdowns these treasure hunts um events that they have for prizes i will never do those because they are really frustrating you know like influence island and chimp chase and all these different things i can semi deal with you know it's, it's it is tedious but it's way less tedious than these these events here um so yeah let me let me know what you guys think because i'm i'm really curious um this is the first time in a very long time that i'm playing the sims mobile in hopes that I would have seen much more improvement. Um, so yeah. Let me know how you guys play the game. Do you have similar complaints? Um, let me know what your experience is. Um, yeah. And uh, side note. I'm sure you guys know already. But The Sims um, announced that we are going to get free access to The Sims 4 on October the 18th so that is something that we can share about and we can look forward to um, for me 
I need a gaming system. So whereas I am going to download the game, um, for sure, I definitely am going to download it because why not? I will not be able to play it as yet because I do need a gaming system. I had a gaming system before, but unfortunately, it's not working anymore. So I have to get around to um, sourcing another one. So in the meantime, um, I will be playing some free play. Of course, when I do get around to getting my gaming system and making Sims 4 content, I will still be playing Sims 3 Play. That will always be um, a thing. But the Sims Mobile, I uh, can't get around it. Really can't get around it. It's, it's too frustrating to me. And I love the graphics. You know, I love the graphics. I love the plants. I love the fact that you can join them up together. That is something that I really, really appreciate. Um, but overall-wise, it really does frustrate me. And I do not see myself playing this game um, anytime soon. So, let me know what you guys think. Tell me what your experience has been like playing The Sims Mobile. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to play The Sims Mobile or do you prefer The Sims Free Play? Let me know. Everyone is entitled to, to their own opinion. So I do. I really, really want to hear what you guys have to say. And um, yeah. So this is my mini rant <laughs> for today. Um, I will see you guys in the next video real soon. So until then, take care. Bye.